at Woofstock in Chandler where we have a lot of excitement and even we've got some dogs that you could adopt out here. We'll have all of those details coming up today on 12 News Today Weekend. We are today. He's at Woofstock. Am I saying that right? Woofstock? Oh, yeah, Jack, you got it right. It's Woofstock. <laughs> And I think you're going to love this live shot throughout the entire time. I know you're a dog fan, but you know what? Look at all this activity going on. And I actually want to bring in Brooke from the city of Chandler because that's where this is. And what are some of the exciting things we're going to see today? Awesome. We're going to have a fly ball tournament from Blazin Canines with teams from the Southwest USA. We're also going to be having demonstrations from the Chandler Police Department Canine Unit. We've got some dog workshops from Dog Training Elite. So they're going to be how to teach your dog how to catch a Frisbee, how to sit properly. We also have some animals available for adoption through the Maricopa County Animal Con Care and Control. Um, we're going to have dancing dogs. We're going to have critters on patrol. So we just really want people to come out from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Tumbleweed Park, and it's free. And there you go. It's free, and the weather, you hear the dogs barking because the weather is absolutely gorgeous out there. At Wolfstock is getting his full dose of oxytocin, right? You're going to bring us some pets, right? Oh, yeah, for sure we're going to bring you some pets. And you could even bring a pet home. We're out here at Wolfstock in Chandler. Event out here. The weather couldn't be any better. But guess what? This face look, might look familiar. We found Melissa out here from, of course, she brings in all of the dogs, Maricopa County uh, uh, Animal Control. Now, you've got another dog here. This is actually Barkovici that we're really excited about. And tell us a little bit about Barkovici. Yeah, Barkovici is two years old. He has been at our shelter since July. So we wanted to bring him out today and get him a little bit of exposure. Very sweet, mellow dog. Doesn't seem to be reacting much to all the, the hustle and bustle around him. So. And how much is his adoption fee today? He is $20, and that includes his rabies vaccination. He'll go home with his license and tag. And we also want to let people know we have lots of other dogs out here today for adoption. Very cool. And another thing that you mentioned, there's kind of an exciting thing that happened. About two weeks ago, we featured Gator on the show. What happened? Gator got adopted. Yes, we're very excited. Gator got adopted. We were a little worried for a second, but he is now adopted. But you know what? We're all in which is still nice for this time of year, but coming up, Jackie, in just a bit. They're going to start the blazing canines. You can see them getting ready. And then we also have some really cool dogs that I hear are unbelievably trained of all that coming up in just a bit. The assignment of the day, that's for sure. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Matt. Furry animals, right? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of cute animals out here, and you can see behind, they're just beginning to get set up for fly ball. This is going to be an exciting event, but you know who's really come through for us this morning? Check it out. Melissa has another little guy with us, and this isn't quite as big as Barcovici, so if you're looking for something smaller, you can adopt him today, right? Tell us a little bit about him. This is Scout. He is a four-month-old Chihuahua mix, and he's got litter mates, so come on down, because if Scout gets adopted, there's three others to choose from. There you go. Three others to choose from, just like him, but the weather out here, all these dogs they're really enjoying it let's go to the ground but check it out right now they're all lined up and in fact they just started this course and coming up in main weather we'll have a look at what is this event and how do all of these dogs play you can see jackie they are extremely excited out here so a lot of fun <laughs> yeah it does all right thanks today in chandler wolfstock that is where dr matt pace is how's it going out there Hey, yeah, we're out at Woofstock, and you can hear it's a woofing good time. You can hear all of that barking behind me, and this is a race that is about ready to start. And, Brooke, tell us a little bit about what we're about to see here. So it's a fly ball racing tournament, and there's four dogs in a heat, and they go, they race down and back, um, and everyone has to compete, and whoever wins that heat advances to the next round, and the fastest time wins. Very cool, and I have to say, these dogs are fast, and in fact, we have, are actually joined by one of these dogs. Carol, tell us a little bit about what it's like to be in this event. You can see the excitement there. Yeah, fly ball is really a high-charged environment. The dogs love to do it. They love to play. Almost any dog can do it as long as they like the ball and have a little bit of excitement. So it's really a fun sport, and it's team camaraderie because it is a team sport, which makes it really fun. So it's just really fun. And good luck out there today. We're, we're rooting for you. And the weather, you know, it's pretty nice out there. In fact, let's go back out here, Jackie. Look at all of this excitement going on, and look at just how fast some of these dogs are. Everyone is excited. They're chasing those balls down at the end and coming up later you see this excitement we're going to go see a very well-trained dog coming up in the next hour 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We're out here at Woodstock in Chandler. You can see more excitement behind. We're talking about very well trained dogs. We'll show you all of that coming up in just a bit. Pets, we are heading over to Woodstock where Dr. Matt Pace will explain how you guys can help at home. How's it going out there? Yeah, that's right. We're out here at Woofstock where not only could you adopt a dog, but look at all of these treats you can have as well. And we're actually joined by team members of The Crunch. Now, tell us a little bit about these treats because I have to admit I'm not a dog, but those look good. Yeah. Well, we just started this business about two months ago. Um, they're all handmade in our kitchen. They are mostly organic, human grade ingredients, and they are tasty. And was it, what is it like to see the dog when it finally bites into that? It's like, I love this. They love it. They usually go crazy over it and definitely are looking for more. And there are lots of different flavors for them. And so if they're picky, we should have a flavor that they love. There we go. They got everything out here. And in fact, let's walk over here because look at this. We've got Emily who's going to join us. And who is this? And he's actually going to do a little taste test, right? This is Louie, yes. And how old is Louie? He's eight years old and he's looking for a home today. There you go. So he is looking for a home. You can come out here and adopt him. We'll have even more dogs coming up a bit later, but we are talking great weather out here. Got to come back out here and show you all of this good stuff that's going on. We're going to head back there as well to the good dog agility, and we'll see just how good some of these dogs are, Jackie. All right. Thanks, Dr. Matt Pace. Morning long. We have been checking in with Dr. Matt Pace, who is live at Wolf Shop in Chandler. How's it going out there right now? Hey, it is going incredible out here, Jackie. All of the dogs are having fun. And if you have a dog that maybe you want to be trained, you may be inspired by this because we're actually joined by Neil, who has got two dogs that are incredibly trained, I hear. And you're going to show them off, right? Yes, thank you. Um, we'll do, run them through some uh, basic tricks and exercises. Bailey, tunnel. Here. Tunnel. Bailey, tunnel. Back. And one of the things he was saying is you only have to tell the dog once, right? You don't have to yell a bunch of times, right? It's command-based training. So when I give her instruction, down, down, sit, speak, one time and they do it. And you can see how far away he is right now. This is a long distance. You don't even have to yell that loud. No, no. And we're having a conversation. My dog's sitting over there. I don't have to worry about other dogs, cars, anything like that. And another thing Neil told me to do is he, he just randomly told me to put this thing on my... I have absolutely no clue what Neil was talking about when I put this on my arm. But he said, you know what, the weather's so nice, so why not do the weather and then see what this is all about. So let's go to our graph. Coming back out here, I don't know. I'm just kind of standing here, and uh, I don't know what's about to happen. But I think I'm going to find out, as you can see, Jackie, this dog... He's not happy right now, as you can see. And I'm trying to... I'll send it back to you. <laughs> yeah, Jackie. You never know what might happen. Oh, my gosh. Dr. Matt Pace taking one for the team. <laughs> His full dose of oxytocin right now. He's in Chandler for Wolfstock. Wolfstock. Woof. Oh, yeah. Everyone out here at Wolfstock is absolutely stress-free. And the dogs are stress-free as well. You know what? A lot of people get dogs, and they want to get them trained. So we actually brought Neil back in. And Neil, what's the key thing here to kind of start training your dog? Patience and consistency. Um, having patience, teaching them, understand that they don't understand what you're trying to explain. But once they've got it, being consistent with that. And one of the things people can do if they don't necessarily have time, they can actually hire someone, right? Yeah, yeah. We come out to the house. Uh, dog Training Elite uh, was started by my dad over 35 years ago, and we've been training dogs from basic obedience all the way to service and therapy, personal protection, whatever you want, we can do. And his dogs are absolutely incredibly trained. You saw them a little earlier, but another thing that's incredible is the weather out here. Out here, Neil has got a special trick here. He says one phrase, and his dog might not like something. Here's that phrase. She's a little bit uh, scared. She's got arachnophobia. Bailey, there's a scorpion. There you go. Scorpions. I would probably do that same thing if there was a scorpion on the ground. So, Jackie, fun <laughs> time out here. All of these dogs incredibly trained, and there you go. Yeah, I'll say. My goodness. All right. Do you have a pet at home or you're looking for one? He has you covered. He is out in Chandler at Wolfstock. Yeah, that's right. We have you absolutely covered out here, and you heard that a dog can even reduce your stress. So come on out here, and in fact, you might notice her face. This is Melissa Gable. She's with us every single weekend, and we've been featuring a lot of your dogs. 
You brought the whole bus out here. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, we have a bus full of adoptables. We also have a lot of our long timers that have been at the shelter for a while. Eva is one of those dogs. In fact, she was with us so long, she wasn't doing well in the shelter. So she is in foster care. This is her foster mom. Uh, so she is looking for a home today, too. And how much is her adoption fee for today? Uh, she's $20, and that includes her rabies vaccination and her dog license, and she's already been neutered. And there's also another exciting thing. Maybe you already have a dog. There's another bus over here. Tell us a little bit about that. So this is our mobile vaccination clinic. We are doing low-cost vaccines for pet owners. We're also doing cat vaccinations. If you have a cat and you want to brave it, um, put them in a kennel for sure and come on down. But we'll be here until 2 doing that. Well, thank you so much. You've got everything covered out here. And you know what? Everyone's enjoying the weather because we come back out here. We've got another dog that's up for adoption. So, Melissa, tell us about this one. This is Chuck. Chuck is old as you can see still a puppy but loves to be held pretty chill and relaxed great dog but yeah we're here until two so come on down and adopt so there you go come out here and adopt you can't miss that kind of face jackie send it back to you and maybe i might even come home with a dog after today <laughs> oh no <laughs> and let's get a final check with dr matt pace out at wolfstock yeah, Woofstock, it's an incredible time out here. You have to get outside, and we're actually joined once again by Brooke. You saw her at the start of the show. Brooke, just tell us a little bit about what's going on out here, because there's so much going on. Yeah, there is so much. We're so excited. We've got the canine unit from the Chandler Police Department here doing demonstrations. We've got an on-site dog park. We've got dog agility training. We have the fly ball tournament, so people can come check it out, see dogs racing at incredible rates. We've got a pet psychic free dog massages, you name it, it's here. And you're expecting two to 3,000 people, and that's just the people. We were looking around, it's like there are more dogs here than people. And also, tell us some about the vendors that are out here. Absolutely. So we've got great vendors. We've got Marty's Trophies out here. We've got Nesquik. They're coming out. They've got the, the bunny here. So if you've got little kids and they want to meet the Nesquik bunny, that's great. We've got dog treats. We've got dog mats. We also have people who are out here with pets available for adoption as well as low-cost vaccinations, licensing, and um, microchips. And she said it right. There is so much to do out here. You cannot beat it. And all of this that you see featured on the show as well, it is all free out here. So behind us you see where you can get those uh, very reduced price vaccinations and of course if you don't have a dog and you like all these events come out and adopt a dog it's for a great cause out here so jackie weather is going to be perfect for this event so right now i'll send it back to you